the work of Phyllis Gord go back several years to the 1970s. From a very early days, she began a lot of community work. She founded the River Road Daycare um, Nursery, and that was set up primarily under a series of programs which the New Drill Movement had put in place, um, called Economic Enterprises of the People. And then came the revolution, and coming out of that nascent movement of women, then the National Organization of Women in Grenada was formed of which she was the president. It became the largest single women's organization in all of the history of Grenada. It was at the forefront of social and economic change. It was at the forefront of abolishing sexism in Grenada, protecting the rights of women on the workplace. That organization stayed and brought into being the maternity leave law. The maternity leave law was not just a law in law books. I can tell you that there were at least two employers who were literally arrested and taken before the court and threatened with custodial sentences. The other thing was a, um, a complaints desk set up to deal with sexual harassment at the workplace. Even up to today, we have not been able to fully codify and to put in place a comprehensive um, anti-sexual harassment law at the, at the um, workplace. But a lot of work was done by the NW and Phyllis in that regard. Right? Also, Phyllis was, Phyllis was very instrumental, together with the trade union movement, in securing equal pay for equal work. Because in those days, there were a large number of government-owned estates that the then Gary government had acquired from the remnants of the plantocracy. And no place can one have found a more inequitous system of discrimination against women that, than on the estates. So women, in many instances, were doing the same work. In several instances, they were doing more laborious work. They were carrying bananas and things on their head um, over very rough terrain and tracks to get it down to the boxing plants and so on. Yet, after a day's work, the pay was significantly lower than that of men. So that Phyllis's rule overall was a very, 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 very positive one. I can tell you um, she was a very serious person. I have worked with her before on more than one occasion, including the fact that I had called a strike against her. And this, I can tell you, did not go down good at the time. Phyllis was the one that steered the program of changing the, um, the gender, uh, the gender changing jobs. So for example, we had for the first time, a young woman operating a big DA tractor, a massive tractor with a big blade. And it was Phyllis who introduced that program. Um, to show that women could work as good as men, so that women began to enter the field of construction. So as we reflect over our life, I know there's a tendency to reflect just on one aspect of our life, but she was a very multifaceted woman, very talented, highly read, very disciplined, very motivated. And I thought that she made, as people will tell you from an honest, objective point of view, that she did make a tremendous difference and contribution to the transformative life of Grenadian women who for centuries were not only exploited under the system of slavery and post-colonial slavery exploitation, as well as in the plantation economy, but she had also assisted in getting women to liberate themselves in that direction.